Jack. Last car present. Green flags waved in the back. Down it goes. Very even start from the front row. Paul left Wazidis on the second one. Uh, Rob Hall trying to get up the inside in the pale blue Mustang. It's a wheel on the grass. Goes inside the number nine Craig Davis Mustang. Rob Hall trying to get second. The little uh, dodge is uh, flicking to the right, but it uh, looks like it's Soper from Hall. Uh, then we've got two more uh, Mustangs in the chase. And they're all over the place. Absolutely fantastic. There's Oliver Hart, who's between um, Nick Whale and uh, Roger Wills, Oliver Hart goes past Nick Whale down through Ford Water. Well, into already in, in, into St Mary's, we've got a good lead for Steve Soper, fast starting Rob Hall for the second row. Uh, Craig Davis back to third. Michael Squires lost a bit of ground. He's got uh, Oliver Hart making the move in the background of the shot, trying to get past Michael Squires, tucks in behind Nick Whale behind him. Everybody else behaving the whole way back to the tail of the field. What a field of Mustangs, Falcons, and Barracudas, and of course, some great big galaxies. And the real loser at the start there was Leo Voizidis. I think I make him about ninth. Something which, like that. He's, yeah. uh, he's got a lot of work to do if he's going to get himself anywhere near the podium from there. He's got to find his way past an aircraft carrier first. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Down at the end of the uh, lap, it's uh, going to be Red Mustangs one and two because uh, up the inside into uh, the middle of the woodcut has gone. Uh, has gone Craig Davis and uh, well, he unstable, unstabilised, destabilised the uh, uh, Falcon of Rob Paul. The uh, barrier has taken a bit of a, a shaving as well as they've gone through. They come through. Sopa from Davis, 2.6 seconds. Squire is third. Hall is fourth. Hart is fifth. Whale is sixth. Wills is seventh. Shepard is eighth. Foyazides is ninth. And Van Riet is in tenth place. Uh, one uh, Bryant is in 11th and 77 Wood in 12th. Well, Rob Hall, yes, he lost momentum. Great move from Craig Davis to, second, to take second place. Michael Squire got up into third, but was edged out of the way. Hall was like a rocket down the start for this trade. And then young Oliver Hart has now made his way past uh, Michael Squire as well. And Nick Well back onto Squire's tail, but out front is Steve Sofa going off into the distance. Craig Davis trying to do his best behind in second place. Then Rob Hall in third. Then we're looking at Michael Squire in fifth place. Nick Well, and then Roger Wills starting to make a move in that turquoise uh, Mercury Cyclone you can see in the middle of the pack coming up the inside or is he of Nick Well, Not this lap but he's giving it a go that's why he's having to hit the curbing on the inside so entertaining looks so much longer than the Studebaker then behind the giant giant galaxy of none other than Bill Shepard he knows those big beasts Absolutely, as they come down, rocketing through the kink on the straight, the 7-litre Galaxy comes up alongside the Mercury Comet Cyclone, just 4.7 litres in that car. Fabulous flame out from the Michael Squire. Um, now staying back, oh, there goes the, uh, the Cyclone. Roger Wheels ducked inside uh, Shepherd's Galaxy. All the time at the back of that group, we've got Verzides. Got a lot of work to do. Um, Ollie Bryan's in the Silver Barracuda, is in the middle of the next group with that so 77 car Steve Wood but it's Soper now three and a half seconds 3.5 uh, seconds ahead of Davis in nine Hall is third uh, Hart is fourth Squire is next Whale is in sixth place with car number five He's battling all the way down the field side by side through Madrick number three uh, is Peter Holford and uh, he's battling with 74, Josh Sadler, man famed for his work at Auto Farm, Porsche place. Sadler. Well, what we, what we can see now, Marcus, is the first five cars down to Michael Squire are all sort of enjoying a bit of a gap, but then behind, Nick Whale being pushed again so hard by Roger Wilson in the Mercury. Go back just half a distance and you've got Bill Shepard behind the giant galaxy. That's where the bunching up. But Voizidis in the back, just coming through the second part of Lavin. Just can't do anything about yeah. them in his red, red full. Leo's field. not been here for a number of years, that's for sure. Here comes Shepard again on wheels, uh, but I don't think he's got quite as close this time. He's alongside into the braking area, but uh, he couldn't get it done last lap from further up, so he has to slot back in behind it again. Yeah, Will's very happy just to hog the inside line. If you're coming past, go on the outside which would be braver than brave, really, to try and take the Galaxy around the outside there. But barely enough room to get it around the track, though. So the gap first so to second. So Davis, Hall, Hart, Squire, 
in that order. And then Wales still in sixth under great pressure. He's got Roger Wills, uh, Bill Shepard uh, and Leo Voyazides filling his mirrors. But out front, Steve Soper now 3.26. He's actually lost a couple of tenths on that lap. Going on board, down towards St Mary's with Steve Soper. Well, the sliding through St Mary's. Feel that camber fall away on the exit of the corner. Up over the brow, aim towards the corner of the boot, the back corner. Those are the, uh, the unusual cars. Uh, the Dodge, and the, the, the Studebaker, then the Mercury. Take there for Boyer Caesars. Just interested to see. We wondered if Steve Soper, once he got clear, if he got clear at the front, would pull away. Yes, he's sitting on that three second advantage. Oh dear, a front bumper hanging loose on the 96 Mustang goes to a little spin. At St Mary's, that's uh, Christian van Landschot, the Dutch racer. So what has Michael Squire got different on his car to everybody else? He's certainly putting on the sort of Sonny Lumiere performance out there. Third lap in a row that Bill Shepard's got alongside the Mercury on the run down the back straight. He has actually overtaken wheels this time, so Bill Shepard has got, got, a, got ahead. 2.5 seconds, getting closer. I thought it was getting closer out the back. And Oliver Hart is lap, well, actually lapped faster than Steve Soper that, so the dry, young Dutch racer in fourth place could be starting to, to reel in. In fact, he is starting to reel in. He's 0.6 of a second down on Rob Hall. That is no mean feat. The flame thrower is um, even more impressive that time round. That's uh, Oliver Hart. Well, that's a different Mustang flame throwing. That's one, that's one, two, three, one, two, three, isn't it? Yeah. David Clifford. So if you've got a blue Mustang, like Clifford's car, yeah. Light well. everything up. Enjoying a big battle. This is six car with that deregistration on it. But uh, it's six Soper, nine Davis, 88 Hall, and 34 Hart. Well, I tell you what, I don't think uh, Bill Shepard's finished yet in his chase. He's managed to pick off the Mercury. But now he's having a go at Nick Whale in the Studebaker Lark. Have a look, getting closer and closer. Where it's so powerful, that seven-litre power plant punching its way up the lap of the street. Bill Shepard, of course, uh, used to look forward to a Ford testing round here uh, in the 1970s for Uniclip. But uh, Crosley 30F, which we'll get it back at now. Big wig in the uh, Belgian uh, ASN organising uh, group. Now Oliver Hart getting really, really close to Stuart Hall, but uh, not Stuart Hall, sorry, uh, Rob Hall. But just as Rob got the tail out and lost a bit of momentum, at Woodcook, so did the Mustang racer, but uh, third and fourth, very, very close indeed, as are Nick Whale, who's holding down, still holding on to sixth place, but Bill Shepard really fancies a slice of that. You can't fit a car that big up the inside of Patrick. No, you need a gap about twice as big as normal, don't you, to, uh, Certainly do. to, to get that car down the inside. Much, much better for him to wait, he might his time, and, and well, now, it's going to get alongside enough before forward water, I think, to be able to take the place. So that's uh, Shepard and the Galaxy up into sick overall. And uh, that's that's pretty good going, Marcus. Yeah, Bill Shepard, the uh, American car specialist these days, up near uh, Brooklyn, Bill Shepard Mustang. And uh, the studio baker is um, looking very wieldy, isn't it? It certainly is, but now he's got uh, Roger Wilson company. Leo Voisini seems to be uh, picking up the pace now. Yeah. He's, he's lying around in ninth place, but there he is at the back of that group. Steve Baker is kind of like Cortina's size, but um, still got lots, lots of grunt. Looks pretty poised as well. It does. In this grouping, right. Here comes Oliver Hart. He's uh, in the slipstream now of uh, Rob Hall. Rob's been, Rob's been very leery and wide going down through Woodcote. You see the tail come out on that big falcon several times. And, uh, Oliver Hart also got a bit frisky on the exit last time around. This time it looks generally a bit more controlled. They're both equally out of line, but certainly for a 17-year-old, this is very impressive in a very tricky car to race well. New fastest lap for Davies in second place. He's done a 29.8, and the gap to Soper ahead is now down to one and a half seconds. Yeah. So, uh, 31.6 yesterday for um, Craig Davis, so he's found a useful amount of time in that car. Oh, I do love a rear shot where the cars are sliding sideways, just scrabbling out towards the exit of the circuit. Ooh, and because the suspension's compliant, you can see them hobbling around, can't you? Which is also very nice. Yeah, got a very slow-moving Mustang just ahead of the leaders, and it's uh, Rob Gravitt. He knows he should be keeping out of the way. 
He's going to go to the outside of the circuit, but they get to Lavin. Craig Davis getting ever closer. We see the battle for third place by slightly smoky. Uh, Oliver Hart <laughs> bouncing over the curves on he the inside. Did as well. That's and very impressive. Then you see how much suspension travel. travelled. There's Rob Gravitt traveling slowly in the yellow Mustang, but uh, David Hart, not David Hart, Oliver Hart is learning new that? tricks. Well, you saw when uh, um, when Rob Hall hit the brakes, you saw the brake lights reflected in the headlights of the uh, Mustang chasing That was very good. Mustang in trouble on the left with the hazard flashers going. It's not been Rob Gravitt's weekend here at uh, Goodwood. More's the shame, but thank him for bringing his cars down. Now, Oliver Hart, what can he do? Doesn't seem to have any speed advantage down the straights, and uh, well, there are a few wilier races than Rob Hall. He'll be hanging on to that third place. But look how close Craig Davis is to race leader Steve Soper. 1.447 seconds was the gap last time around. It was about 0.44 of a second, if that, between uh, the two fighting over third place. This time on the start line, well, let's call it a second. 1.010 of a second between Soper and Davis. We still have time and plenty, nine minutes remaining. Yeah. And the leaders, the two uh, red and gold Mustangs, Steve Soper and uh, Craig Davis, trading fastest uh, sector times of anybody. And Shepard now moving up on Squire in the, the Galaxy, so I think by the time we come down to you, Bruce, the Galaxy will be probably with Squire in the fight for fifth. Yeah, Craig Davis, the only driver so far under 1 minute 30 in the race. I actually know the two white cars is looking for a big white splodge, that is the Galaxy, absolutely. Uh, We've got Squire having to bite his P's and Q's. He's almost being pushed into the first part of St Mary's. Look at the background of the shot. He might just about pick them up. No, that's the battle for third place. Still, Rob Hall doing his utmost to keep Oliver Hart behind him. But uh, Bill Squire, Bill Shepard, very likely to pick off Squire. He's forced well. his oh, way through. Oliver up. Hart through on the inside of uh, Lavent Corner. He probed and he dived. Played a beautiful uh, manoeuvre out on that one. Once he's through, will he be able to pull away from Rob Hall? And I think Soper had a moment going on to the Levant straight there, and Craig Davies is now right with him as they come into the chicane. Makes a fine sight of the two Allen man for the Mustangs, but uh, he's closed Soper down. This is how Oliver Hart did it on your big streets, the 34, the red Mustang. Dived up the inside, and he's a bit sideways there from uh, Rob Hall and the Falcon, but uh, very neatly done from Oliver Hart through on the inside of the third place. But it's back in fourth place again because somehow Rob Hall, while we look at that replay, regained back, the it? position, possibly down at Woodcock. We can't tell you, but uh, well, Oliver Hart knows how to do it. He's got to do it all over again. But you have to say that Rob Hall is going to be very, very wary. And the driver who does have to be super wary is our long-time race leader, Steve Soper. Craig Davis, right with him. Don't forget, not so long ago, it was three and a bit seconds. Certainly isn't that now. Half of just 0.6 of a second on the start-finish line. There's a gap between first and second. These two red and gold Allen. And liveried uh, Mustangs at the front of the field. Soper has the gold front bumper and the silver front bumper on the chaser, Craig Davis's challenger. Davis's car actually tucks in rather better, I think, into the apex at, um, at Lavin. Yeah, very different lines there. And he's right in the toe. He's got a great run. He can try and pull alongside as they come down towards. We're going, they are going to be side by side. Soper's gone to the inside to defend. Almost touch, but can he go around the outside? No, he's thought better of it and uh, he's had to drop back in behind again. Not many people get to pass Steve Soper around the outside. He won't get too much things side by side for this well, yes. <laughs> I've noticed. But, uh, Soper definitely under pressure, which uh, I'm a little bit surprised about Max, uh, given his uh, advantage in qualifying. Traffic up ahead of them, though. I noticed the car just diving into Madwick, not so far in front. That may be interrupting their passage as they get down towards. Is that the Dodge Dart? It could be. Put that off as they take yeah, the run Dodge out of Madwick. Just up ahead. That's yeah. uh, Graham Bryant, isn't it? Here's a go. Down the inside towards Four Water. Craig Davis is through in uh, car number nine. Can he complete the corner? Can he get round the Dodge Dart? Yes, he should be able to do round the outside and. The entrance to St Mary's, great manoeuvre there. Look to my right, I saw the red and gold That's Mustang. A lovely line as well from Craig Davis. The car seems uh, well planted, actually. Yeah. It's, like it's, got, um, it's got a few ripples in the um, in the wings, I've noticed. They can see of that first lap, I suspect. Well, what a brave manoeuvre, because Steve Soper, all those decades of experience we were talking about before the race, and, uh, Craig Davis showing he's right on top of this car, go past a couple of back markers, and it seems Steve Soper now Riding with him, what can he 
really do. I think it's, it's Craig Davis is edging ever further clear. Steve's going to have to be very brave. Five minutes remaining in this race, but that was a cracking cracking passing move. Third place, it's still Rob, Rob Hall. We know he's been passed before by the young Dutch racer behind him, Oliver Hart, but almost immediately he put him back behind. So it's not Mustangs 1, 2, 3. It's Mustangs 1, 2, 4 with that blue and silver Falcon in third place. Good chance for the Darnley, uh, Darnley drivers to pick up points here. Might be a little too late, but go for it all the same. And it's very easy to spot the Squire Shepherd battle now because it's with the Squire, uh, as, the, as the light goes, the flames are more and more visible. Uh, but Shepherd cannot find a way through and he's brought the three cars behind him. So we've got five cars together. And Roy Zedas has got ahead of wheels. He's finally started to make some progress after that bad start. And those cars all together again now. And the leader's down with you, Bruce, and uh, Soap is holding on to Davies at the moment. Yes, he is. and. Uh up ahead, Davis Dice for the inside and the exit of the corner. In fact, they've got a red Mustang up ahead as well. Now, looks like a bit of a hesitation, blocked and only just going around the back of the Falcon. Steve Soper thought he had the advantage there. And Craig Davis just Bang. got why not have a little, little love tap. help away. There's been a love tap on the other Mustang by the looks things as well. <laughs> More than a love tap. That's <laughs> not so much love. Front of the other Mustang doesn't look too clever either. <laughs> No, that had its own moment down at St Mary's. I didn't see the in, but I saw the out, and that was the bumper getting mangled. But it's a 96 car, isn't Well, it? there's a great replay of the tap, but it looks so... Uh, Craig Davidson just guessed wrongly, came out behind the white and blue Falcon as they went out of, St. Mar out of St Mary's, but just had enough momentum to keep Steve Soper towards the outside of the track and behind him. But Steve will be plotting. Three and a bit minutes remaining. He's far from finished in this yeah, race. Davies took a very defensive line as the chicane there, and I think it was a bit too much. It's compromised his exit, and now Soper's right with him as they come down to Matchwick, but there's not enough space there to get through. Is he going to give him another love tap? Probably, yeah. probably not. And he's dabbing the brakes, and he's on funny line. And... Uh, Still got his nose ahead, but he's having to defend like Billio now. I do think there's quite a difference in terms of consequences. A love tap at the well, heart's uh, heart has versus got back past yes, four for true. third place. Let's see where it happened. Well, well isn't it? Davies looks less composed now, and also he's gone down the inside into St Mary's. They touch. They're both off across the grass. They're, they're heading for East Sussex. They're in West Sussex at the moment. Oliver for... Hart could win this. Well, he could. He's got St Mary's. He's just uh, well. Now he's been challenging Rob Hall at St Mary's. They nearly go off at St Mary's. Oh. Rob Hall pushed right to the outside. Who's going to get back on the track first? Oh, it's Steve must Soper. Have some damage, back must in front, you think so? Yes, and certainly very close. Oh yeah, bodywork rubbing. Bodywork in on a, on a, a tyre. On Sopers. Then the, don't think about the uh, red Mustang tucked in behind those two red and gold ones. That's 96. Look in the background, the red and black Mustang. I think it's far enough back. These two have escaped. They're left able to continue their fight over the lead. It looks like they might be delayed enough to let Oliver Hart and uh, Rob Hall get oh, close to the Red flag. So, car. Uh, uh, Leo Voivzides has gone off, I believe. A uh, red flag has been called. Red flag called. Leo's out of the car, I'm pleased to say. It's taken a big impact at the front. So is that up at Madrid? I think it probably is. No, the ambulance is coming down. No, it actually might be at St Mary's. I'm just trying to... And yeah, what a cracking race that was between Steve Soper and Craig Davis. I think on countback it will be Craig's victory, but uh, he mind gets a bit confused after such incredible dicing, but to have both of those uh, yeah. first two cars running off the grass at St Mary's, going a long way off the circuit. Davis has been ahead the last twice over the line, uh, Bruce, who can confirm that. Well, with those cars being held there, they're clearly with an intention that, if possible, they will then move them forward to reform on the grid. And uh, there is uh, Steve Soper. A tattered uh, front wing, a tattered rear wing on his, uh, his Mustang, getting back uh, into it. And uh, they're going to drive back into the, uh, uh, into the paddock. Certainly uh, a drama-laced Pierpoint Cup.